What if I'm not the expert that I claim to be? What if I'm just not good at this video thing? What if I can't actually help people? All those are thoughts that are driven by one thing, imposter syndrome, and I'm sure as an executive coach, you know it well. The challenge is that even though you're an executive coach, you still have those doubts in your mind. They still sit there at the back somewhere and we generally turn, tend to learn to manage them quite well. But when we get on video, they come to the fore, they come to the front, especially if it's just you and a camera, it can be quite uncomfortable. I'm sat here having spent most of my career in retail, store facing roles, back office roles, admin roles. I worked for 10 years as a volunteer police officer. Certainly nothing that qualifies me as a salesperson or a marketing person. And here I am. I'm a year and a half into running my own business. We've had a massive success and I've been successful for the last five years doing what I do now. I'm here to vouch for the process for video. It does work, but you do need to get beyond that imposter syndrome. The trick I'm about to share with you was shared with me inadvertently by one of my clients, Joe Leach. So thanks Joe if you're listening. It's a, it was a great piece of advice. In, and he said that we all carry with us an internal board of directors. So anxiety is one of those board of directors. They sit in our head and they take the, the chair seat now and again and give us advice. And that advice needs to be taken in context. Is it based on a, a way of helping us? Is it a way of trying to hinder us? And if it is trying to hinder us, how can we use that as a positive? And imposter syndrome is our greatest tool doesn't feel like it at the time, but it is, because imposter syndrome is what keeps us sharp. It's what keeps you awake the night before a big talk to make sure that your topic's inside and out. Yes, it's not pleasant to work through, but if you see it for what it is, it can actually be reframed in your mind to something that's reasonably positive. Imposter syndrome is what keeps you sharp. It's the thing that makes you doubt that you're an expert, so you have to go to the next level to prove that you are an expert. It's a thing that makes you worry about what you're on camera so that what you do say is more punchy, is more t topical, it's more themed, it's more strategic. It can have other negative consequences if you let it, but if you reframe it in a positive way, imposter syndrome can be your best friend. Let it be your best friend. Take it in context, understand what it's trying to do. It is trying to prevent you from failing. That's good. We all need a friend who can help us prevent failure. Don't let it take control. Let it give advice, listen to it for what it is, and then use that as fuel when you create your content. Be prepared. That's another great way of combating imposter syndrome. I'm not an advocate for scripts, as many of you will probably already know. Instead, have bullet points dotted around. Have them behind the camera, have them written down, and sometimes I find that just the act of writing those bullet points down can be enough that actually I feel much more confident and prepared and I don't even use the bullet points. Don't use a script. Everybody worries about video scripts. Unless you're going to be given that same talk over and over again like a keynote speech, then you don't want to be learning a script. You sound robotic because you haven't learned it and by the time you have learned it, actually you've lost the moment. We need to be creating content that's fluid, that reacts to what's happening now in our industry, how we're feeling, what we're passionate about today. You can't script that. So you need to be able to create organic content on the fly really quickly. We do that through bullet points and feeling prepared, but also just taking that knowledge that imposter syndrome is there to help us, let it have its say, and then tell it to be quiet while we get on with what we need to do.